Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Xiaomi Fi, and today we're looking at the Xiaomi Necklace Bluetooth earphones. How do they sound, and how good are they really? Let's find out. Let's go. In the box, you'll find the earphones, three sets of extra earpiece rubbers, and a micro USB cable to charge them with. The first thing I notice is the build quality. Different quality? Having just looked at the youth edition of these earphones a few days ago, I right away noticed a few differences between them. Whoa, this feels way like lighter and cheaper. First of all, the earpieces, they're a bit larger and they've got a more soft rubber feel to them. Ooh, okay, different earpiece too. The end of the necklace is made of some sort of aluminum instead of the plastic on the youth edition, which really makes it feel more solid and uh, well manufactured. Coming in at 40 grams, they are 5 grams heavier than the youth edition, but that's a compromise for the more premium feeling materials. Also the buttons feel more robust and solid. And the ends of the earpieces are magnetic, so you can hold them together when you're not using them, which is a pretty nice touch as well. Yeah, there's no clip and then you put these two together. In a way, yeah, right? It has a magnet here. They do have the same type of flexible rubber necklace, which is very comfortable to wear and doesn't feel that cold when you put them on. Although this one feels a little bit more solid than the youth edition as well. The controls as such are exactly the same as on the youth edition. There's a micro USB port to charge it with, on off button, volume up and down buttons, and it's got a built-in microphone. In terms of functionality, these are the same as that we've just seen. If you hold the on off button, you can turn them on and off. Short pressing that on off button will play or stop the music and double pressing will call up your voice assistant. Using the volume up and down, you can control your device's volume and long pressing the volume controls will go back or skip a song. It's got a uh, built in microphone for voice calls and voice assistants. Hey, what's up? So this is what I sound like through the regular neckband earphones. Hey, what's up? So this is what I sound like through the neckband earphones. So what's so much better about these compared with the youth edition? Well, first and foremost, the slightly larger earpiece is capable of uh, reproducing more low frequencies. This results in quite a bit more bass content. They sound nice and you can definitely hear a difference between the youth edition. One thing I notice is that vocals and speech come out quite a bit better on the youth edition as that has a little bit of a brighter higher end and the low end is way stronger on the regular version. You can definitely hear like the beats. The beat's harder in here, but mm -hmm. that one you can hear like the voice more. Weird thing is that the regular version has Bluetooth 4.1 as opposed to Bluetooth 4.2 on the youth edition. But this regular version does offer better audio processing and their 137 milliamp hour battery gives you up to 8 hours of playback time which is 1 hour longer than the youth edition. The frequency range of the audio is full spectrum from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz and that lower end is really the most notable difference in audio quality. So what do I think? Well, generally, I really like the sound and the comfort of these earphones. The build quality of these make them feel a lot more solid and the earpieces definitely feel a bit more premium on these as well, making the plastic on the youth edition feel a little bit cheaper. The fact that the earpieces are magnetic is a really nice touch and these come in black, gray and coffee gold as opposed to just the red and black of the youth edition. And I personally like these colors quite a bit better, especially that coffee gold looks pretty cool. One thing I kind of forgot to mention in the video of the youth edition is that it's quite hard to open up the USB port for charging. Like you really have to try to open that. Yeah, but that's not, that's not easy at all. It's just like that's not convenient though. Overall, I think the color headsets are a really good choice. Both the regular version as well as the youth edition sound really good, with the youth edition having a little bit less bass. So which one should you get? Well, that really depends on your budget and personal preference. I think the youth edition are a very good choice. And in most cases, I would say they sound good enough. But this regular version does sound slightly better and really does feel a lot more premium with more polished materials and better feeling buttons. I like the quality of this, but the earphone, the, the sound system is like a little bit different. The look of it, the look of it yeah. looks way better. For sure. Why don't they combine them? <laughs> Why cannot you combine these two? <laughs> 
The regular version is a bit more expensive, coming in at 299 renminbi in China, which is about 44 US dollars or 39 euros, compared to the 170 renminbi or 25 US dollars of the youth edition. I've put down some links in the description below this video to where you could buy these outside of China, and whichever one you decide to pick up, I personally believe they are a much better choice than the Air Dots if you were considering those. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a uh, little like below this video. Go and check out some more videos on the channel. And if you're not subscribed yet, know that you probably should, as I'm doing a lot more videos about products from the Xiaomi ecosystem right here on the Xiaomi Fi channel. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.